I am here with Carl Slemowitz at, of Vicious Cycles. Carl, I've seen on uh, many inner bike shows for the last uh, five, maybe ten years, and I've always been impressed <laughs> with the just in, in immaculate paint, very creative, and the rigid forks. Uh, some of the most beautiful hardtails I've seen. Uh, but I know Carl venture, has ventured out into different things, uh, and he's here to show us a couple bikes. Carl, tell us about yourself. Well, uh, <laughs> I've always been drawn to cycling my whole life and started Vicious Cycles in 1994. Um, had a manufacturing and also artistic background, mm -hmm. so and cycling is the perfect combination because right. it's both technical and artistic as far as bicycle manufacturing. Um, started the company with just me and worked and continually grew and now it's a group of individuals all like-minded in the sense that we want to create beautiful creations mm -hmm. and we're all very into cycling. Right. Um, How big is the group now and where are you guys based at? Oh, we're in New Paltz, New York, which uh -huh. is in the beautiful Hudson Valley. It's uh, an hour and a half north of New York City, uh -huh. due north. Um, we have seven people there working. Oh. So, yeah. Fascinating. And um, how many bikes do you put out per year? Uh, actually, right now we're doing uh, about 225 frames, mm -hmm. about 450 forks, and about 600 paint jobs. So we also paint for other manufacturers paint for too. Others as well. Yeah. Right. So. Right. Yeah, and I think one of the advantages uh, I've seen from Carl talking to him over the years is he controls the fork and the paint as well, so he's able to make a yep. unified hard deal. Everything we do is in-house, so uh -huh. we actually also make full suspension bikes too. Uh -huh. so, Aha, yeah. uh -huh. hopefully you'll see one uh, later. Uh, yeah. So Carl, we have a uh, very fascinating bike here, 650B titanium and uh, a lot of a very nice finish. What do we got here? Uh, basically, um, it's a 650B, or uh, actually we we prefer to call it 27.5. 275. Because uh, mountain bikes think in term mountain bike uh, riders think in terms of inches. Exactly. 26, 27.5, 29. Exactly. And uh, basically, the, it's a full titanium frame with a steel rigid fork. Uh, the finish on it. Um, is a brushed finish and then the, we etched in some star designs and then we have a proprietary tinted clear direct to metal that we have uh, developed uh -huh. um, specifically for coating over titanium. It's like a transparent uh, yep. thing. And so you can see the brush marks, the brush strokes and also the uh, star designs through right. that. So. Right. Um, Leave it to Carl to, to come up with uh, how to make titanium even prettier. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have actually a huge uh, range of options for finishes, both uh -huh. on steel and titanium bikes. Uh -huh. so. And uh, uh, six, uh, 27 five, what, uh, what do you see as the merits uh, of, of the new wheel size? Well, first off, without belittling other wheel sizes, mm -hmm. I think that it's really the the right bike for the right occasion. Mm -hmm. So, not to say that somebody needs you know several bikes in their quiver, but right. it's really the style riding you do and you know where where you live, the type of terrain, right. that kind of stuff. Right. Um, first off, just from a frame builder standpoint, there's some uh, fitting a 29 inch wheel into a frame. You have to slightly alter the geometry. It's a little more contrived. Right. So, and those geometry compromises do balance out slightly because of the gain, you know, the benefits of the 29 inch wheel, but right. you don't have to make any compromises with the 27.5 because it's fitting into the same geometry and wheelbase of a 26 inch wheel bike. I see. The only mm -hmm. difference between this and a 26 inch wheel bike is the bottom bracket height is adjusted for the additional radius right. provided by the, the wheel size. Right. right. So basically um, you don't have like a long wheelbase when you're in tighter windier terrain there's not a longer wheelbase uh, you know that you're working against. Right. So. Right. Um, in addition to that, you know, it's basically my feeling that where 29-inch wheels excel is when you're doing a, a constant speed and a constant average speed. Uh -huh. So in places like Colorado and California where, 
you're doing a dirt road climb for an hour and then traversing the, the contour of the mountain for a half hour and then descending for 15 minutes. Right. Um, whatever those these speeds are, they're average speeds. Right. And that's where a 29 inch wheel rules. Just excel. Huh? My, my idea is for a 27.5 is uh, when you're in tight wood situations, very windy trails, very like uh, technically uh, difficult trails, you're constantly either on the brakes or the pedals. Right. And the for the rolling benefits of the 29-inch wheel, it also has, um, you know, a slower acceleration. Right. So, a lot of people that are in that live in areas that are really windy, rocky, tight trails will try 29-inch because they want to roll out the bumps. Right. But then they'll go back to their 26-inch because they're constantly accelerating and decelerating. Going. So they're feeling that slower acceleration. Right. And they just feel slower at those times. Right. So this is as big as a wheel as you can fit in a standard geometry, only slightly bigger than a 26-inch wheel. So it, it, ha it doesn't have as much of that slower acceleration right. as a 29-inch right. would. Yeah, I have noticed. Um, but also the positive geometry of a 26-inch right. bike. So I have noticed myself and a lot of my peers are, are going towards these ultra-expensive wheel sets like Industry 9 uh, mm -hmm. that are very light to, to counteract the, uh, okay. the, 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 the slowness. The actual of, like, rolling so, yeah. part of the bike is yeah. lighter, right? Yeah, to, yeah. yeah. and it, it okay. uh, compensates for, uh, <laughs> for the, uh, the slowness in, in uh, acceleration. And yeah, and I have a good setup, but I can see this as being uh, an, an even better balance. I think uh, as this uh, as this platform is a little bit more widely accepted, the additional merits would be in full suspension bikes. Right. Um, because of what I was talking about, the compromises in geometry of the bike with the 29-inch wheel versus 26, they're actually more apparent when you're talking about right. Full suspension components and linkages that move and four stuff. inches so of travel and, and right exactly and clearances and whatnot. Yep. Okay. So well, Carl, thank you. I uh, uh, hope you show us another bike later. But uh, great. This is very exciting. Thank uh, you very please. much.